and welcome. To an edition of In the Word of God podcast. I'll be coming from a series, Waiting on God. And the first topic of this series will be called The Nevers of Life. The Nevers of Life. We, we face those from time to time. We need to know how to deal with the nevers of life. So for your scripture consideration, scriptures will be coming out of Isaiah 64 and 4, 2 Corinthians 1 and 9, Deuteronomy 31 and 6, and also Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Once again, the series is Waiting on God, and today's topic will be the nevers of life. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with those nevers, you know, never going to get this, never going to get that, never going to experience this, never going to experience that. So today is going to focus on how to overcome the nevers of life through the word of God. God. Thank you for tuning in. This is your host, Anthony Smith. And for our scripture reading, Isaiah 64 and 4 says, For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen. O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth on him. Second Corinthians. One and nine. Make sure I have that right. Yes, Second Corinthians chapter one, verse nine. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raised the dead. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And Deuteronomy 31 and 8. And the Lord, he it is that doeth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Lord God, we pray today that from this devotion and from the reading of your word that we'll be strengthened and know how to deal with the nevers of life. For you say in your word, you will never leave us nor forsake us. So we're going to trust and depend on you that your word is true and that you are a God that cannot lie, neither the son of man that shall repent. Shall we be strengthened by the reading, hearing, and most important, the door of your most holy and righteous word. Amen. So we go into our devotional reading, The Nevers of Life. Never. It's the word that can stir the deepest fear in the bravest heart. I'll never find a job. This will never get better. I will never get married. I'll never have the child I long for. He'll never come home to me. It's the lie that originates with our sinful nature. It insists on putting a decisive end to all of our hopes. Don't bother to dream, it whispers cruelly. You don't deserve it. Stop wishing for what you can never be. And so we continue to drive the nails into the coffin of our deepest longings. The Lord will never answer my prayers. But 
This is the challenge of waiting on God. It's the ability to keep hoping when the nevers of life bombard us, when the minutes, hours, days, and years tick away without any answers to our most passionate pleas at the throne of grace. It's the faith to hang on to the Father on the long road when human reason tells us to give up. If the nevers of life are discouraging you, if you've waited for the Lord to fulfill his promises to you, if you wonder why God has allowed such a lengthy delay in answering the deepest cries of your heart, if that's where you are, friend, then this is the right plan for you. If you look, you'll find meaning and hope in these times of waiting on the Lord to respond. Though it don't seem Though you don't see him working, you can know for certain that he is because he guarantees that he acts on behalf of the one who waits on him. Isaiah 64 and 4. Not only that, but the father has an awesome plan for you. Purposes that are fantastic, perfectly suited for you, and that will give you ultimate meaning to your life. However, God also has a very specific schedule, one that's often vastly different from what you'd expect, may have you wait far beyond what makes you comfortable and most likely will make you feel that all earthly hope is gone so that you rely solely upon him in 2 Corinthians 2 verses 1, chapter 1 verse 9. So what I intend to show throughout these devotions that follow is that the only never you should focus on is that God will never let you down. Deuteronomy 31, 6 and 8. So whatever it is you yearn for, no matter how long you have to wait, you can trust the Father to lead you. And you can know for absolute certain that he has your very best interest in mind i'm reminded after reading that of a song we used to sing years ago it says wait on the lord and be blessed wait on the lord and find happiness to those that wait he shall renew their strength wait wait on the lord and be blessed sometimes it may seem like it's getting dark and trust me the one that's doing this podcast i've gone through those dark moments I know what it's like but I also know what it's like when he brings you into the light and I'm also reminded of this that the darkest hour is right before daybreak and if you can make it through the darkest hour the sun is going to shine so I want to encourage you while you're going through the nevers of life, I've been there. Sometimes I go through them still. But I'm not going to go through this devotion with you saying that I haven't when I know I have. But I say, if you're going through your moment, know that you're not going through it alone. I've been there. I've done that. And every now and then, those moments come up. I'm being transparent. I serve a God that sits high and looks low. He knows what we need before you ask, but he also said, Ask and shall be given. Seek, ye shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. But we just have to learn to wait because there's a blessing coming. So thank you for tuning into this podcast. And there will be more to come on a daily basis. This was the first of many. So you just stay tuned. The best is yet to come. This is yours truly in the word of God, Anthony Smith.